is going on guys welcome back to another video here on the pc fun youtube channel as you can see we're in a little bit of a different setting today i'm not in a boat uh, i'm not walking a river i'm at a house i'm at a cabin uh, house up in northern wisconsin and so basically i'll give you guys a little bit of background right now first of all i'm enjoying this beautiful coffee that i just made which is tremendous my parents have owned this house up in the area of Northern Wisconsin, you know, Eagle River, Three Lakes area. And they've had it since I was about 12 years old. And it is definitely one of my absolute favorite places in the world to be. Now, obviously we had some pretty tough times with COVID over the last two years. That kind of led to me not being able to spend a lot of time with my parents or a lot of time up here in general over the last two years. I was really fortunate and happy this weekend. My parents, we were finally able to get together and hang out and have good times and laughs. And one of the products of that is me being able to come out here and do some fishing. So you can see beautiful, flat, calm morning right now. Absolutely gorgeous outside. Hopefully flat, calm means the crappies are gonna be hungry, but I am not sure. So like I said, a little bit different, but I wanna show you guys all sides of fishing, right? It's not always about, you know, bass tournaments and it's not always about uh, catching the biggest fish in a system and stuff like that. I mean, I just like to have fun and go fishing. So I figured why not show you guys a morning of me just enjoying myself, coming out on the dock at my family's house and just having fun and hopefully catching some fish. So we're gonna enjoy this nice warm coffee on this cool fall morning and uh, show you guys what we're using, how we're using it and see if we can catch some fish. Got a nice beautiful view here. You can see the fall colors are in full swing. So basically guys, this is the deal. This right here is the deal. So in the last video I did, you guys saw me out catching just monstrous bluegills. And this little one inch minnow from hog pores has just been doing it for me all the way since last winter. I've been crushing them. And the setup is simple guys. It's just a PC fun serpent rod. Serpent. And it's a 6'6 ultralight. And we're either using a slip bobber or we're just using, you know, like a regular stationary bobber like that one. Now in hand, here's the setup. You can see I nip a little bit of that minnow right off the top just to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm just using a Fisca ice jig, uh, three millimeter in the glow spot. It's the, I think it's E62, epoxy 62. And we're just gonna cast that out and do some twitching and pausing and hopefully we'll get some crappies and maybe even some bluegills. So this morning we're just gonna start with this regular bobber. We're probably about, I don't know, maybe a foot, a little over a foot down. We're fishing over the top of weeds. So we don't wanna be too far down and then we just cast out and we're just gonna do kind of do a twitch, twitch pause and hopefully the crappies like it. My absolute favorite part about fall fishing is being able to take in the sights while you're out fishing, you know? So it's not just out, you know, catching these fish and having fun, but it's, it's literally just looking around you while you're fishing and seeing everything changing and transitioning. And as you can see in the background, there's just beautiful colors here. One. Fish on guys. First fish of the morning. Looks like we got a little crappie. First fish of the morning right there off the dock here in northern Wisconsin. That's a little baby crappie. We're not keeping any fish so I guess I don't really care how big they are honestly. I'm just here to have some fun and catch some fish but that right there. First fish of the morning. We're hoping to catch some bigger ones. Um, that one's probably only like seven inches so we're gonna let that one go and try to catch some more. See you later little buddy. There's one guys, there's a fish. This feels like a bluegill. Definitely feels like a bluegill. Yep, there we go. First bluegill of the morning. There we go. That one hit it pretty quickly. Not a very big bluegill, but probably about pushing that six and a half, seven inch mark right around there. Lots of these guys to go around, that's for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and let that one go. Just started raining, guys. So we'll see if that has any any help at all. It literally just started raining out here. There's a crappie, guys. There's a crappie. There we go. There we go. Check that out, guys. That is a beautiful crappie. 
Look at that one. Beautiful Northern Wisconsin crappie. That one's probably about 11 inches and the hook just popped out. <laughs> that was awesome guys. Just inhaled that hog pores right there. And just a beautiful, beautiful Wisconsin crappie. I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna put that one back and see if we can catch some more. A little bit of rain never hurt anybody, right? I'd be all right. A lot of times the fish will bite really good. I don't have any rain gear with me, but I'm gonna stick it out anyways. Fish on, guys. Another smaller crappie there. <clears throat> Nothing big, but we're out here in the rain, guys. There's another one, guys. That looks like a crappie. Is that a crappie? Yep, looks like it. I rocketed way out there, guys. I, I switched my rod up a little bit and I got a you know a little bit of more casting distance and I was able to get out a little further. And that's a nice solid, you know, probably nine, 10 inch crappie. Beautiful fish. I also switched to a different jig uh, just to give it some color. So I put a chartreuse jig on there. So there's another nice fish right there. There's a fish, guys. That feels like a bluegill. Just, that bobber just shot down. I mean, absolutely shot down. There we go. Beautiful male bluegill. Look at those fall colors, guys. Just beautiful, beautiful. Those weeds out of there. Bluegills love minnows, guys. That hog pours minnow. They're eating it. They love that. Check that out right there. Beautiful fish. Got it right there in the snout. And that's a male gill. You can tell by that breast coloring. They're usually a little taller than they are longer. So another beautiful fish here in northern Wisconsin. There's one, guys. <clears throat> nice crappie. Nice crappie. Oh, man, this is a nice crappie. That is what we're looking for, guys, right there. Oh, man, this is a nice crappie. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Come on. Yes, there we go. Check out that crappie, guys. That is a slab. That is what we're looking for right there. <laughs> right off the dock, guys. I mean, Northern Wisconsin is just incredible. When you can pull fish like this off the dock, I mean, look at that. This fish is, you know, probably, this is just 12 inches. That's a 12 inch crappie off the dock. Just an absolute slab. Just chowing the hog poor minnow. <laughs> wow, guys, unbelievable. It just got done raining and we're out here, we're casting around and my bobber just shot down. Wow, what a beautiful slab crappie. Big old mouth on that thing. Just a beautiful fish. And as always, we're gonna go ahead and release it. Well guys, that is a wrap for today's Northern Wisconsin shore fishing video. Uh, we caught some nice fish, caught a really nice crappie. Um, it was a really good time. You know, it was nice to be up here, up north again at my parents' house. Um, like I said, COVID kind of stopped me from doing that for a while. So had a lot of fun, got to fish with the kids this weekend. It was really just a great time overall. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go down below, drop me a comment. Let me know what you liked about the video. Also, make sure you guys go subscribe because we're going to be doing a really, really cool giveaway here soon, like a big giveaway. And you're definitely going to want to be here when that happens. So make sure you hit that notification bell. That way, when I drop that video, you'll get the notification and you can enter right away. Thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.